Oh yeah, today is a crafting video using these pumpkins. It all just goes away and things I plan to say, oh baby. And I have a super fun fall craft for you that you can either use indoors or outdoors. So today we are gonna make a pumpkin topiary using these pumpkins. What inspired me to make this pumpkin topiary is that I was searching online for topiaries thinking maybe I would just buy one and I found this. Now this is adorable and I really like this style. I love the painting that they did on it, but it's $299 and that does not even include the planter that this topiary is in. $300 for a pumpkin topiary. I don't know about you, but I don't have $300 to spend on my outdoor decorations, let alone all of the decorations that I have for fall. So I decided I'm gonna make my own pumpkin topiary and we'll see how it goes. I love crafting, I love fall, so I think this should be a really fun project. All right, so this is the topiary that I found and again, it's $299. So we are not gonna do that, we are gonna make our own. So I found these pumpkins at Michael's and I got them for 40% off, so they were a lot more affordable. And we're gonna start with the easiest one, which is the orange pumpkin. And I'm using burnt umber, and I'm basically going to make this pumpkin have a little bit more depth by painting on some burnt umber on like the lines of the pumpkin and then wiping it off. This will help it to look a little more aged, I guess you could say, and it gives some depth to the pumpkin itself. So like all of the little dents, I just painted the burnt umber and then just wiped it off. I really like this look and it gives it almost an antique look. And if you don't have burnt umber paint, like the acrylic paint, you can use wax as well. And I just worked my way all the way around the pumpkin. So next we have to paint on the polka dots. I like polka dots, polka dots are fun. And again, these are just apple barrel acrylic paints and I basically just painted dots in a cream color on the pumpkin. And I found that the polka dots don't have to be perfect. It just gives a little bit of color to it and it looks like the original topiary. And once I was finished with the orange pumpkin, then it was time to do the second one. And this one is a little more challenging. And I found some gray pewter, that's the color that I'm using. And this is what I'm going to make the gray lines on the pumpkin. Now this pumpkin is the middle pumpkin of the topiary. And I started with using a foam brush and just kind of painted the lines on. I wasn't exactly sure of how close they should be together but I just went around the pumpkin and painted some lines to give myself a starting point.
And then I used a Dollar Tree paintbrush and just made the lines wider. Now, if you wanted to get perfect with this, you could and tape off the lines, but I was just playing around just to see what it would look like. And yeah, my lines aren't perfect, but I think that gives this a little bit more character. But if you want to make your lines perfect, go ahead and use some painter's tape on your pumpkin to make perfect lines all the way around. And while my second pumpkin was drying, this is going to be the top pumpkin. And I could have bought a white one. I should have bought a white one, but I didn't. So I used some Waverly chalk paint on the orange pumpkin to make it white. And if you'll notice, I keep going back to the original picture of the topiary that I had just to use it as a reference for what I was going to be painting next. And once the chalk paint was dried, then it was time to put the plaid pattern on this little pumpkin. And I've never done anything like this before, painting a plaid pattern on. So I did go back and look at the picture several times while I was painting the pumpkin. So I painted the lines down first and then I came back and painted around. Now looking at this, I wish I would have gone a little bit lower, but I think he turned out pretty good. But for my first time, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. So once I had gone down long ways, then it was time to go around the pumpkin. And I basically did three paint lines around the pumpkin. And again, if you wanted this to be perfect, you could tape this off with painter's tape. And then I decided I needed some more lines, so I went back and painted some more. I think you can kind of see the plaid pattern is beginning to take shape. And I started with the gray paint and then I added in some black to give it a little bit more depth of color because again, this is my first time trying to paint plaid.
and I decided I wanted the stem to be really bright gold. That was a little bit different than the original topiary, but I really like that. So I found this Extreme Sheen paint. This is DecoArt, I believe, and I got it at Hobby Lobby and it is really gold. So I painted the top stem of the little pumpkin the bright gold. And this definitely is a very bright gold and it was exactly the look that I wanted. All right, so now my plaid pumpkin is drying. So now it's time to do the green on the middle pumpkin. And again, never done this before. So I figured let's just go for it. That's what's so fun about doing a project like this. It's truly an original. It's truly a custom piece that you're making for yourself. And I didn't have the pretty green, like the sage green that they had on their pumpkin. So I just mixed a couple of greens, added in some yellow and got this color. So I apologize, I don't know what color this is. I just decided to mix my own green paint. And so I painted the green lines first and then I just added like a little loop or a circle on either side to, I guess, give it a look like leaves. And then I just continued that pattern on every one of the green lines that I had made on the pumpkin. So now my pumpkins are all dry and beautiful. And I forgot to show you, but I did carve holes in the bottoms of the pumpkins because these are foam pumpkins. It was easy to do because the pumpkins are going to rest on top of each other. So I have a high temperature glue gun and I just put some glue on the bottom of the middle pumpkin and the top of the bottom pumpkin and then connected them. And then I did the same on the top pumpkin. I put the glue on the bottom of it and attached it to the middle pumpkin. And just like that, my pumpkin topiary is really looking like a topiary. Now I wanted to give this a really high gloss sheen, so I had some high gloss spray paint and I just spray painted the pumpkins and it gave a really nice glossy finish to my topiary. Very, very shiny. And then I had this old urn or planter and I filled it up with some dirt. And since my topiary is gonna be sitting outside, I didn't want the wind to blow it away. So I found a dowel and determined how long I would need it to be. I drilled a hole in the bottom pumpkin and then inserted the dowel. And this will give the topiary a little bit of extra weight so that when it does get windy, it will not blow out of the planter. And then I had a bag of Spanish moss, so I put that in because I wanted to kind of fill the space up. And it did take pretty much an entire bag of the Spanish moss.
and then I just put the dowel in the bottom of the pumpkin and then put it into the planter. Then just fluffed up the Spanish moss around the edges a little bit. And this is what the topiary turned out to be. I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks beautiful and it was affordable to make. 